What are you getting? Dinner. Oh. She's like the fourth one today. <laughs> All across Southern Asia and the Pacific Islands, you'll see people chewing a big ball of something with red stains all over their teeth and spitting it on the ground. You just get a bit of a, a kick, a rush, a bit of sweat. It's called betel nut, or as the locals call it, why? I've seen people chew it in Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia, but not even close to the level that I'm seeing here in Papua New Guinea. It's everywhere, and it's extremely addicting. It's just become this, it's just spread throughout our country. The locals on this island have a unique way of consuming it, with a mustard stick and a powder made of seashells and lime, and it has spread in recent years like wildfire. Boy is so dang popular that more than half of locals here chew it daily, from children to the elderly. What feeling does boy give you? How does it make you feel? Uh, uh, when I chew boy, I feel comfortable and happy. Boy keeps us, keeps, keeps us uh, active and you know, happy all the time. Do you do it every day? Yeah, yeah. How many times a day? How many different uh, uh, seeds? Maybe five or... It gives you a, a, a good day. Energy gives you, give you strength, stimulate your blood to, you know, Maybe talk too much. <laughs> if there's no bit or not, you know, you give them a shot all day. The epidemic is causing oral cancer numbers to skyrocket. Probably Guinea has the highest rates of mouth cancer in the world. Betel nut comes from the seed of the areca palm. Its main ingredient is called arecaline, which affects the brain like nicotine. It's a stimulant that gives you euphoria, alertness, and happiness, and it's highly, highly addicting. Despite the health issues that it brings, boy makes up a large part of Papua New Guinea's economy. It offers jobs to tens of thousands of people who have stalls on street corners. They rely on selling it to survive. Two kina for the pack, uh -huh. uh, five kina for the panel. What's crazy is that this story is almost identical to the chat crisis in Somaliland, which I explained a few months ago. This is going to chat, uh -huh. so it's grown in Ethiopia, this one. It gives you energy, it boosts your mind, it boosts your intelligence. Maybe it's just human nature for us people to find legal ways to be on drugs, to make our days more productive. It's really bizarre. To me, I don't ever see a solution to these drug epidemics. People rely on them not only to make their days pass by easier, but to put money in their pockets to survive. A lot of money, that is. What we're gonna about to do is uh, chew the bill nut. It's a process where you mix the inner part here, the fruit, with the mustard seed. And this is called lime. It's uh, seashells crushed with limestone. Seashells from the ocean? Yeah, seashells from the ocean crushed with limestone. Mm -hmm. So basically what happens is you gotta mix them all in your mouth together. And then you get a chemical reaction which gives you a bit of a euphoria. Uh, it turns red. Um, you keep spitting it out like chewing tobacco until the last bit remains and you spit it out altogether. You get a bit high, but it's, that's the first time. So let's see what happens with you. <laughs> <laughs> this? Yeah, by the tip off. Just to get the skin off? Yeah, yeah, skin off. Yeah. I'm feeling my first time. Cool. Crush it. So this is it. This is the boy. Okay. Now you put the whole thing in your mouth. So you're gonna put a bit of um, some some juices coming out. You get the mustard seed, the mustard fruit, the seed. You just dip it in the lime. Then you put it right where you don't wanna burn your gum. But it, it does burn. So you, you put it right where the fruit is. Right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mix it together. Mix it together. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead. Can I spread it again or no? Yeah. Put it on. And then you just let it build in your mouth. Let it sit there on the side. Just keep chewing, chewing. Don't swallow it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like shit. Mm -hmm. It starts getting red a bit like that. It's supposed to get dark red if there was more. You might get sweaty. I feel already, man. You feel it, huh? It's a bit dizziness, huh? Yeah. yeah. Talk about the drug here. It's not labeled with any of that. It's just that it it's a palm tree that grows and it's the fruit that we got from. It's a cousin of the palm tree, but that's good, bro. Definitely feel a bit dizzy, sweaty. It has a weird taste, man. I can't explain it. But it's because the mustard is quite strong. So it kind of counteracts with the taste of the bitter nut. Because if you eat the bitter nut alone, I, I don't eat the bitter nut alone because that makes me vomit. I hate the taste of bitter nut You have alone. to mix it with mustard. But I mix it with mustard, it tastes better. Like kind of neutralizes it.